go ahead and, and say something too. Uh, so did you guys, does anybody know where the boot drop actually came by from? Like, well, because Presk or not Prescott, Flagstaff has the pine cone. Well, no, no, but no, we have a boot drop, but where did it come from now? Okay, so this is a kind of a crazy story. Uh, somebody that's like literally always behind the scenes. She's never like in front of the scenes, but her company and organization has definitely stepped up and, and put together some of the coolest things that Prescott has to offer. And, and, and with that being said, I want to go ahead and show you guys this picture. So uh, uh, a group of, uh, a group of people came together and actually did, um, you know, this, this, what can we do for Prescott? And I'm just going to go ahead and read it to you guys. So you guys can understand what I'm talking about. I'm going to take that off real quick. It says new year's Eve boot drop, uh, was created obviously here in Prescott, Arizona. And it says, uh, in that picture right there, it was a candid video of boot drop co-founder Donna working at oh, Northern Arizona Arizona social. social. Yeah. Wow. I had no idea that she was behind that. Yes. Yeah. So let me give you the story, the rundown. This is, this is something I'm going to do for our, our good friend Donna over there at the Northern Arizona Social. Uh, in late 2009, Donna Workin was aiding the city of Prescott's tourism team partnered with the local advertising agency as an independent marketer. A desired goal was to increase bed tax dollars for the city. At the time, there was a lack of events held in Prescott after Akronite. The tourism gap ran from um, mid-December through March. After many conversations over the course of the years between working in the local Prescott ad agency, two more partners were brought on to expedite the new venture, Great Circle Radio and the Prescott Chamber. Mm. Together, we launched the signature New Year's Eve event for Prescott, Arizona, stated Donna Working, owner of the Arizona Social and Boot Drop co-founder. She continues before aiding the she continues before aiding the city of Prescott recently held the position as director of corporate sales with the Arizona Sundogs Hockey Club. She actually uh, she she's really involved. Wow. Wow, wow. A yeah. large part of my position was to create new events promotions for the team. This new venture was another welcome challenge for me working with the city of marketer. It was exciting. I was eager with much time on my hands bringing a new tradition to our community to become a goal we all set to achieve how did they decide a drop of the boot uh-huh you want to hear that i want to hear it that's what i'm waiting right, let's for go. Yeah. as a former student of northern arizona university the pine cone drop <laughs> was a fresh experience in my mind i thought dropping a boot was a concept well suited for our town mm-hmm. a horseshoe was in- initially purposed but i didn't think that it made sense logic logistically i create i created the first website bootdrop.net to cap uh, conceptualize the event and presented a powerpoint with the boot as a main centerpiece it took some months of convincing but was soon adopted by my cohorts over the course of the year much research was done to assure that no one was dropping the boot across the nation not one other place not one other place although i did find that the city of key west dropped an oversized heel shoe it was uh, i I thought it was a very i think it was a flip-flop was it? There was one that did a flip flop. That's yeah. nobody. It was right. a laborious, <laughs> laborious, laborious year of planning, and it was certainly no easy feat. Uh, we thank Stephen Markup of Mar- uh, Morgan Signs uh, for creating the beautiful boot design. Also, Great Circle Radio for their huge level of support with sponsorship and talent for so many years. So this is kind of what uh, you can go ahead and go back. Uh, there's there's many more in here, but they want to go ahead and give a little bit of love to also uh, Eminem uh, Entertainment to uh, kind of like coexist uh, so currently right now I, with that. I, I was going to ask. So normally Eminem Entertainment and then the boot drop thing, they do the walkthrough. Is that the thing I was talking about? Uh, yeah, the, 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 the Christmas city. Is is that the Valley of Lights? The no, stroll. that was somebody no? else. Is, is it another? So the Valley of Lights is the one in Prescott Valley, right? Yeah. So if you guys want to go, do, do you remember out, the walkthrough? That the reason I'm bringing it up is because that's where they normally show the boot off beforehand. Oh yeah, up yeah. at the mall. At the mall. Yeah. No, no, no. I think they took that down. And you know that little spot that they're utilizing over at. Um, oh, okay. So above Matt's, there used to be a bar. Yeah. So Matt's bought that bar. Okay. And so I think now they just store a bunch of stuff. There. Okay. Oh, so there's no way to see the boot ahead of time this year. No. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. But they used to be able to. It's yeah, cool. No, which is kind of crazy. But at the same time, you know, this is this is kind of like a big deal. Uh, if you guys want to know more about this, you guys should probably yep. go to the Prescott Times. And Donna Workings, thank you. It's awesome. Yes, thank you, Donna, um, for all you. Remember last year we got out of the uh, the New Year's Eve comedy show.